Okay, here I am again, defending a fairly decent movie that's being dragged through the mud on IMBD. Welcome on board, Long Island. We have launched a little bit later, and we have some great viewing points, so let's get this baby rolling! <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Happy Wax TV. Okay, tonight we are talking Arctic Void. I'm, I'm just gonna say this before I even get started. Okay, I truly believe everyone is entitled to their opinion. Everyone, <laughs> about anything, whether it's movies, people, places, events, whatever. Everyone is entitled to their opinion, including me which is why I do this channel, because I love giving my opinion on movies. Having said that, <laughs> sometimes when I read reviews after I watch a movie, it's just mind-boggling to me as to how, I don't know what to call these people, okay, but I don't understand like if they, listen, I grew up in a different era of horror movies, okay? I'm 50 years old. I've been watching movies for, horror movies for 50 years, okay? I've seen all the progression of horror there is, okay? And the one thing, and this isn't a horror movie. It's a sci-fi movie, okay? It's a sci-fi mystery, all right? It's not horror. So I don't know if that's why a lot of people are hating on this flick. I know you can come at me and say, well, the writing wasn't that solid or... Maybe, you know, the acting wasn't that good, even though I really didn't have an issue with it. You know what I mean? Or maybe the reveal was stupid at the end or something like, I don't know. You come at me if you want, but to me, this had a Twilighty Zone feel up until the reveal, okay? Which I don't, I don't want to talk too much, you know, other than the obvious stuff that's in the trailer, because honestly... If, if you find out too much about this movie before you watch it, it'll totally ruin it for you, okay? You need the surprise, because this movie, what makes it good is the amount of mystery and the whole movie you're trying to guess what the fuck is happening to these guys, okay? And I like that. I, I <laughs> The opinion I got of a lot of the reviewers, okay, who, who left reviews, bad reviews, stupid fucking reviews, on IMDb, okay, saying it was terrible, I didn't understand it, it was garbage, made no sense. Yes, it totally, <laughs> I can only imagine that the people that were giving it ones and twos and threes are the same gaggle of fucking people that enjoy movies like The Nun, or maybe Halloween Kills, okay, <laughs> those piles of shit, where you have to have jump scare after jump scare after jump scare to keep you enthralled in a fucking movie. And you have to have everything forced down your throat and every little mystery so stupidly explained to you so you get it. Like, that's, that's what I... It, that's the first thing that came into my head, okay? Because you actually have to think in this movie. And again, you can come at me all you want, but I'm telling you, go watch this movie don't investigate it. Don't, don't, you know, watch any spoiler reviews or anything, okay? Because it's really not that bad of a movie. I think another big problem was, is when we do get the reveal, it's not what people wanted it to be, okay? I was I'm not going to say I was let down by the reveal, but I, I don't know. I too wanted it to be something else, okay? But it's not. I don't want to get into it. I probably just spoiled the ending, but no, I didn't. But listen, I like this movie. To give it a rating, I would probably give this movie a six. A six out of ten, okay? It's not, again, this isn't the greatest movie you're ever going to see, okay? So I'm not pumping it up to be that. But it is definitely worth a watch. It was made on a micro fucking budget, okay? But it doesn't look like that. This, The cinematography in this this movie, the Arctic shots, it, it looked like it was filmed to be shown on the IMAX theater. It is incredible. Some of the scenes they have, or the or the shots, the overhead shots, and these big panoramic views of of this Arctic location that they're in, it is phenomenal. But basically, it's about three guys. Two of them are show hosts. One's the director. One's the host of a of a 
tourism channel, okay? So they, they go to the Arctic, they're going to go on this, this boat tour or whatever, and they pick up this cameraman because I, I think their original cameraman couldn't make it. So they pick this guy up, okay, he's got all their equipment, he's going to do all the filming. They get on this, this boat, whatever, um, I'm not sure what the exact name of it was, but anyways, with, with other tourists, like these, these German girls, and then there's these scientists and some other people, they all get on this boat and they're going to go sightseeing and they're going to go to this destination, okay, wherever it ends up going while they're on there okay and this is where all like the mystery starts it starts off right away because you know some people um are are bleeding from the ear while they're on the boat it shows it in the trailer okay there's the the the, the cameraman has mystery with him because he carries around this lunch box that the other two guys open up while he's not there and it's got this tape recorder in it that plays this this kind of a weird, kind of a numbing hum, okay, and they can't figure that out, so they're, it's just, it's just mysterious situation and mysterious, you know, goings on from the get-go, all right, and, and it even heightens it because, like, everybody disappears on this ship, just like that, one minute they're there, the next minute they're gone, okay, there's lead up to that, okay, it, it, it makes you wonder what the fuck's going on, is it, otherworldly or, or what we don't know okay because there's scenes with like a walrus that that you know all the tourists see she kills her her i think they're called cubs the baby walruses it kills her cubs with like just smashing her head against the baby a dead the birds you know swarming and all this crazy shit again like i said bleeding from the ear and stuff and while two of these guys are inside the two hosts okay they come out and everyone's gone everybody there's stuff still there coffee pots are still steaming you know cell phones everything it's all still there but they're gone everybody on this boat and they start to panic they don't know what the fuck's going on and that's what i liked about this movie because they don't tell you and a lot of movies you know how they they show you stuff that only the audience can see in the in the movie you know characters don't well they don't show the audience that so we have just as much mystery as they do and I thought it was fucking great. When they get to land, the, the little villagey town that they go to, nobody's there. Okay. And again, they don't see anything more than what we see. So we have just as much anxiety and, 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 you know, trying to figure this fucking mystery out of what's going on while them still trying to survive because it's freezing fucking cold out there. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why people don't like this movie. It was shot in 16 days on a micro budget. I, I don't get it, man. I, I thought this movie was great. Like I said, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. I highly recommend that you see this movie. Again, I hope I didn't spoil it for you. I didn't want to go too far into the plot. But again, I, I mean, I don't understand why it's getting so much hate. Go watch it. Go watch it and then leave me comments down below as to what you thought of it. Is it, it it's not like an action-packed, thrill ride and it's not a happy movie okay at no point in this movie <laughs> after the people fucking disappear is there anything happy nothing 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 at all even the ending is not happy okay <laughs> again i don't want to spoil it for you all right now i, I again I, I think you know some people may have wanted it to go a different route than it did i don't know okay i i there's a little tiny bit of me that kind of wanted to go a different route too but I like how they did it. They, they didn't, they didn't, you know, give you what you wanted. And it was mystery leading up to that. I do feel that they did give the reveal a little too early in the third act. I think they should have waited closer to the very end of the movie to do the reveal. Because from the reveal to the very end, it, it, it does kind of muddle down a little bit. But whatever. <laughs> I, I up to that point i thought it was fairly fucking decent so again again before you come at me in the comments i'm not saying this is the greatest fucking movie ever made but it's a hell of a lot better than one and twos and threes and people calling this fucking terrible like come on guys I, again i'm just the same people that write this horse shit on here for this style of movie if they can defend it i get it but there's no defense there there's just it's terrible i didn't understand it it was so fucking slow. Then go, these people, go watch The Fucking Nun, okay? Because that's probably the type of people that <laughs> like 
that's the kind of horror movie they want. Just jump scare after jump scare. Everything's so fucking dumbed down for you and explained. Like, go watch Halloween Kills, okay? Go, go watch a pile of shit like that. I don't know. I like this movie. It's called Arctic Void. It's not a fucking horror movie. It's a sci-fi thriller, okay? With a little bit of mystery. Like the Twilight Zone. That's all it is. <sighs> there. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. Let me know what you think. If you haven't seen this one, it's on all platforms, Vudu, uh, YouTube, wherever. Just It's five bucks. You can rent it. I, I think it's worth it. If you, if you have seen this movie, let me know what you think. If you haven't, buy, like definitely, I am recommending it. Again, go, go rent this movie. I think it's worth the money spent to rent it. Give it you know, a one-time watch and then come back here and let me know what you think. There. <laughs> All right, guys, Arctic Void, I liked it. Until next time, stay scared.